Hi, welcome to the part 16 of this video series. We are looking at real certification questions on AZ900. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. For questions 1 to 80, please refer the previous parts. Let's move to the questions straight away. Question 81. Your company has these many, I mean, it they have an Azure subscription and they have these many Azure unused resources. So what is important here is these unused resources. Okay, these are all unused resources. And the solution that the question gives is they are removing the unused groups. That means they will remove this and they will keep rest of the things. Will this meet the goal of reducing the cost? It will not. Keep in mind, out of whatever these options you have here, right? Only this is attracting cost. Remaining things, there are no cost. Even if it is unused, there is no cost associated with those things except for IP. Only for public IPs, there are charges. So you should remove those public IPs. So the answer here is no. But let me tell you the same question, you will get it in different solutions. Sometimes they will say they will remove, they will remove the unused user accounts. Okay. And sometimes they will say they will remove the network interface. And sometimes they will say they will remove the IP addresses. Always remember for all other things, it is no, except for IP addresses, it is yes. So this is the key. Public IP addresses are not free, even if it is used or unused. So let's look at this question. See, support.microsoft.com, this is only used to raise tickets for these products, not for Azure platforms. Azure platforms, you have to go to Azure portal. That's why in this case, where it is saying you can create an Azure support request from support.microsoft.com, it is not possible. We saw in the website directly. So the answer here is you have to go to Azure portal. I could not spot anything called Knowledge Center for Azure. There is one for Microsoft softwares. And last one, the Security and Compliance Admin Center. This applies to Office 365. This is not linked with Azure. Hence, we would lock this answer. Now, the next one says, it is a question about support plans. Okay, and what it is saying is which support plan or plans can you open a new support request? You see the screen, there are all of these support plans, basic, developer, standard and professional direct. And if you go to this section, ability to submit as many support tickets as you need you see everything is checked hence what will be the answer the answer would be all of these so d would be the answer this is the right answer let's lock this now here there are three questions there are three questions okay the first one see what is talking about is resource groups what is a resource group? A logical entity. What is a resource group? It holds related resources of an Azure solution. So a resource group can have a list of VMs, block storage, and so on. The question is asking if you create additional resource groups, will it cost you more? The answer is no. See, I told you resource groups are logical entities. Just like database views are logical entities, there is no cost for resource groups. The second one, the second question says by copying several gigabytes of data, what it is saying is you have your on-prem 
you have cloud and if the data is moving here to here okay, will there be any additional cost additional data transfer cost for this line will there be any cost no anything coming into cloud is free anything that is reverse like from cloud back to on-prem is not free that's why the last question you will incur these data transfer costs so this is yes this is the uh, right answer lock this again we have three more questions in the exam you will get exactly the same format let's go with the first one what it is saying is if you do as your reservations for your vms will you pay less than pay as you go see if you are going with reserved reserved vms what you are going to do is you have to save up to 80 percent you can save up to 80 percent of the cost compared to pay as you go prices you save up to 72 percent that means reserved is cheap but what is the catch the catch is you have to do some upfront payment and you have to do a one to three years of commitment okay so the answer here is yes because this is right the second one says two vms if you have two vms of the same size will they have same monthly costs you see this here this is vm1 this is vm2 and will both the vms have the same monthly cost no boss it depends upon the usage maybe vm1 is being used more vm2 is being used less we don't know so how can they be equal see in real world even twins do not have the same future same operating expenses this brings us to the end of this part please subscribe to my channel see you in the next part see do refer this playlist you know this playlist there are 15 videos on az 900 these are all latest ones very relevant and this one there are eight videos here these questions are still relevant okay if you have to prepare for az 900 apart from that there are so many other playlists which will help you clear these certifications on aws and azure and if you see this there's also a playlist on google cloud digital leader good luck with your cloud journey see you in the next part